if I could change the, the world or everyone could just do like one thing it's just like just have fun just have fun with what mm. you're doing it's just like yeah. life's like life is just so short and it's really uh, it's really easy to get caught up in you know whatever bad stuff is going on and I mean it doesn't necessarily have to be like skateboarding you know, it can be like doing puzzles just like find that one thing that just like just gives you that feeling and just Today we enter the mind of Justin Keston, the founder of Wool Skateboards. Justin is a fun-loving guy who lives a free-spirited life, very down-to-earth and has a passion for snowboarding and skateboarding. In his free time, he enjoys jamming out to metal music. While he's not working his day job, Justin's passion shines through when he's creating for Wool. He operates the business, produces graphics, films skateboard videos, and builds the product line. With a kind offer on his part, we had the opportunity to sit down at his house and host the podcast. Thank you to all who support vandalism, and we hope you guys enjoy this conversation we had with Justin. Welcome to Bindalism a philosophy to a self-sufficient lifestyle. We're here today with the creator of Wool Skateboards out of Syracuse, New York. Um, if you'd like, introduce yourself. Hello everyone, Justin Keskin, owner, creator, uh, videographer, social media manager, uh, one-man show for Wool Skateboards. So it's an independent company? Yeah, yeah, totally independent. Um, yeah, I uh, right now everything is done pretty much by by me. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, um, I fucking I, workhorse. I yeah, I guess I don't know. I, I it turns out I'm a little bit of a busybody. Um, I'm not so good at sitting still. I'm always uh, always working on something. But I mean, I, I've had a ton of help along the way. Um, I mean, I I, I get a, there's a team of people I sponsor. I get a lot of help from them, um, and there's a lot of friends of mine that have helped. Uh, so. Um, you know, I, I, I guess at the end of the day, all the decisions are mine, but I, I consult with a ton of people, um, for pretty much everything. So it's, uh, there's definitely, uh, there's a lot of people that, um, that help and I, uh, I definitely will be shouting them out along the mm -hmm. way when we, uh, when we be doing this. Yeah, definitely. You're probably making a lot of connections along the way. Oh yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. I mean, that's the great thing about skateboarding is like, you know, you can meet people and be from like you know, totally different backgrounds, um, you know, and you, and you could be like completely opposite sides of the spectrum on everything, but you have this one thing in common and something that like, you know, for the most part that you and this other person care so much about. So it's a really good way to find common ground with someone. Mm. Yeah, definitely. It brings culture together. Oh, all yeah. Very yeah, diverse backgrounds. Yeah. All yeah. kind of like a melting pot. Yeah, exactly. It's good. It's, it's cool. Yeah, for sure. So you have a lot of different interests. Um, uh, how about we go into a little bit of your, where you came from? Yeah. Um, so where are you from? Uh, yeah, born and raised in Syracuse. Uh, I lived here till I was 18, went to high school. Uh, I went to college in Burlington, Vermont. Um, at that point, like snowboarding was like my passion. That was my focus on everything. Um, I studied graphic design in college, so it was like, snowboarding and art. Those are the two things I cared about um, more than more than anything else. Definitely snowboarding was it. That was the top of the top of the list. And uh, was skateboarding ever in in that mix? Yeah, up? yeah. It's funny. I came way late to skateboarding. Like I was screwed around when I was younger. Like it, like in my teen years, just like um, you know, like watching like Jackass and like Bam Margera and that stuff. That was my first like big exposure. But I never really started spending a lot of time doing it until maybe 18, 19, somewhere in there, just because I wanted to, because uh, snowboarding was still the core of everything, but when the snow melted, I still wanted to be on a board. And I was like, oh, it's skateboarding, and that was kind of where it, that was where it really started. Mm -hmm. So originally it was snowboarding, Yeah. and then skateboarding was kind of like your outlet. Yeah, yeah. In, it, in the summertime. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It was mm -hmm. just a way to, just to continue to, yeah, just be, be on a board. Because um, yeah. I, I, I surf occasionally whenever I get the chance, I love surfing, actually, really more than anything else at this point, but I never get the chance to do it. So it's like, well, skateboarding. Yeah, especially in New York, yeah. Syracuse, New York. 
but yeah, so that was that that was kind of like the uh, the basis of of everything, and then just like went through like college, and then from there it was like oh like I want to you know I want to I want to live out west. I want to be you know be in the snowboard industry, um, and so I uh, I got a job at a summer snowboard camp in Oregon, um, mm. and. There were people coming from like Ecuador, um, really all, all over the place. I mean, all over the states too. Uh, a lot of Canadian kids as well. Really? Um, yeah. For street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. I think it's been a couple of years now, but it used to be pretty consistently that pros would come to Syracuse. And yeah, there's like a there's an elementary school in Chittenango um, that has a, that has a, a rail that some pros have been to, I think in the last couple of years, I haven't been following snowboarding as, as closely, um, as I used to. I mean, like each winter I used to know like where every pro was and what, you know, what, what, uh, where they were going and when they were here. And I was, I was mm-hmm. a big, big dork for snowboarding without a doubt. How come the change now? So, yeah, I, so they came, um, I wanted to be in the snowboard industry. And so like I was living in Salt Lake city in the winter and then working at this camp in the summer. And it wasn't, it, uh, to be honest, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. The um, snowboarding industry in general. Yeah. Yeah. Like I thought it was going to be just like, I thought everyone was going to have the same love and appreciation for it that I had. Um, and, 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 and that their, their take on it was going to be the same as mine. That like, you know, snowboarding is the greatest thing ever. It's just like, you know, kind of like an ultimate freedom. You can just be yourself. Like it doesn't matter. And it's, it's childhood. Yeah. It's, it, it, it was, it was kind of a harsh reality check. And I was just like, man, this sucks. Um, and was this at the camp you're talking about? No, no, no. This is the, this is when I was living in, in Salt Lake. The camp, oh, the, okay. the camp was great after I left. So. Yeah, my, my buddy who's also who's from Binghamton, he and I went out there together. But I I mean there, there are a lot of great people out there who uh, I still you know who I've who I've met out there who I still keep in touch with. I mean it's not like it's not a blanket statement, but I think it just uh, I think just may, I mean, maybe it was just my experience with it. it was just like a bit of like a release just like pushing yourself and just like getting better on the board and um yeah, it's a, it, so that that really uh, that was like the, the the beginning of like okay like there I I know I want to do something but I don't know what and I had I had tried to do a couple things in snowboarding like I I made snowboard videos under the name of the Salmon Seaman uh, for a while um, I think I made five five or six videos between my friend and I um, and then how I also old were you did, during that time. I'd made the first one in 2011 and the last one in 2013 or 2014. Okay, and so a little space. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that one's not fully dead because it's kind of tied in with wool a little bit. I, there's a fish design um, that I printed on grip tape that all that I sell along with the boards. Hmm. And so the thinking was to kind of transform it from you know snowboard video production or you know whatever it was to grip tape because i got a lot of positive feedback on on the logo on 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 that and you were there from what age to what age so i think i when i left i I, when i moved out i was 20 22 or 23 and when i left i was 25 so i do the winter uh, i would do the winters in salt lake city and the summers in oregon oh so when yeah so when summer ended then i would move back to so this was like this was obviously after high school yeah um did you go to uh, college, mm-hmm. undergrad, or in- okay. Yeah, th- this was after college as well. After college, and then you moved out, and then um, you got to this phase in your life where you started to not enjoy snowboarding yeah. as much. Yeah. Um, and you started to um get more interested in skateboarding. Yeah, yeah. It definitely is like, as far as like the like act- like activity of like you know lifestyle or whatever. It's like snowboarding was number one, skateboarding was number two, and then right at the end of the my time in Salt Lake, it flipped. Cause like, it was really tough, like not having snowboarding be that same thing that it used to be. That was, that was a really, really, really hard thing to, to deal with. Cause it was just like, it was just this like fiery passion that I had for it. It was just mm-hmm. completely snuffed out. But I, 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 I took a little time off and now it's, and now it's, it, it's, it's definitely back, which I'm happy about. But it was, yeah, that, that was, that, that was a tough, um, that was a tough thing. But then skateboarding took that over. Yeah, right? yeah. And uh, did you roll with it? 
Yeah, no, I figured I, 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 <laughs> physically and yeah, no, I I, I leaned into it um, full force, really. Um, it just yeah, it it just gave me that that thing I was missing, and the, and the beautiful thing about skateboarding is it, you you get out of it what you put into it. Um, so like you can be anywhere in the world, and if you just have like one teeny little obstacle, like you're set. Like there's this one Finnish pro skateboarder, Otto Sari. And apparently the town, or so I, I've told the town, he's from Finland. Um, the town that he's from in Finland is like the least conducive place to skateboarding. But it, um, just like really rough gravel, oh, not okay. a lot of, it's like a not, not, a, not, not a populated town. So there's not like handrails or anything. It's just kind of, um, there isn't really enough. Uh, just en- shit enough concrete there. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Um, but he persevered through that and was good enough to get noticed and then came to America and just like set skateboarding like on fire when, uh, when he, when he came over in the like nineties, early two thousands. So yeah, like that's like that, that's something I I really, uh, I really enjoy about it. Cause like with snowboarding, it's like, Oh, like, you know, you have to go to Colorado or, you know, Utah or California, you know, whatever skateboarding. I mean, like there's that same, there kind of is a little bit of that same mentality with, with skateboarding but for the most part you can go anywhere in the world and you can Mm -hmm. you can skate something like even some guy put out a video on thrasher i think sometime in the last year and he filmed he filmed a skateboard part in winter and if he's in moscow or st petersburg and it's just like with enough like determination like you can make it work yeah super creative yeah it's it's just like yeah it's just like the ultimate like um i don't know i don't want to use the word sport but it's just like it has the mo- it has more freedom to it than anything than anything else as far as like an activity goes. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, just because like there are so many different you know you have transition skaters, street skaters, freestyle skaters. Um, it's just it, it's endless, and the, the the boundaries are constantly getting pushed. It's awesome. It's uh, it, it's a really cool thing to to watch uh, to watch unfold. And it's worldwide. Yeah. So you're meeting people from all walks of life, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. only culture but like economic standpoints and like different ways of viewing the world mm-hmm. and it's just like a clusterfuck of just like ideas yeah no no <laughs> w- w- without a doubt one of the guys i skate with in binghamton um we met him at a skate park in in binghamton he's from ireland originally and he's getting his phd at suny binghamton and he's a really, really, really talented skater. And we just happened to meet him by happenstance. And now, like, we're all super close. And it, it's funny to, like, take a step back and be like... It's this crazy. was Binghamton? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know. We tease him. You know, he he uh, he applied to go to school in America. And of all the places they could have sent him, they sent him to Binghamton. <laughs> I actually went to school at Binghamton. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, no, I... I, I can I, talk I, shit. I, I, go, I know. I, I go there all... The, I mean, like, all the guys I skate with, that's where they're from. I mean, I, I go there all the time. It's, it, it's, it's a good fun. S- skate scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, it's a, it's a really good skate scene, actually. Um, mm-hmm. And that's definitely something we can we can, we can can uh, get into when we get into the genesis of, uh, of a wool. Um, cause that was, that was critical. Definitely. The formation of wool. Yeah. 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 The, the, the guys in, uh, the guys in Binghamton, but yeah, there was a, there was a little bit of time from when I came back from Utah before I knew I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to do something. I just didn't know. I just didn't know what. So you're kind of going through like a existential crisis of some sort. Yeah. I mean, I mean, definitely something just cause like that, like that mix up. And like coming back east, it was just like it was a lot of it was a lot of change, um, and yeah. And there there was another snowboard clothing company I tried I tried running for a little while um, that I stopped doing after I think two two runs. It was just too niche, and I was like I, I don't want to I don't want to keep keep trying this. But it's good, crazy. Every once in again, I have people hitting me up, being like, Do you have any like Do you have like Do you have a shirt Black like unicorn. in this size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like do you like Do you have a shirt in like whatever size left? Like I like it. yeah. There's a few. There's a couple people left over who are still <laughs> super hyped on it. Um, which is sick. I mean, I, I've entertained the idea of trying to bring it back, but I don't know. I mean, who knows? You with wool, you could always kind of like work that <laughs> kind of like a uh, style into it. Just yeah. for like maybe one season line. Yeah, maybe. I, yeah, I, I had the idea of doing a metal line for wool called Steel Wool. 
Oh shit! <laughs> That's so creative. I like that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll nice. see. We'll see if it happens. I have a sketchbook with just like a thousand. Like whenever I have a <laughs> dumb idea, I just write it down. Um, so yeah, we'll 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 see with uh, we'll see with that one. But yeah, like we'll, I, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so lame. <laughs> no, it's, 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 there's nothing wrong with being punny. I I, I love it. Um, but yeah, so like after like doing like salmon semen and black unicorn death cold, I knew I wanted to do something. I just didn't know what it was gonna be. I didn't know if it was, I, I mean I definitely didn't think it was gonna be skateboarding. I just I knew I just wanted to bide my time, just kind of get my legs back under me, mm-hmm. um, and just start you know start figuring something out. So uh, we're at a crossroads here. Yeah, you're coming up to this point where you you have a lot of experience in your life and. You're figuring things out, but you still are just, like, not getting it. Like, mm. that one thing. Yeah. What was that one trigger that kind of got you into go, into going in the right direction, we'll say? Um, right. If yeah. There is a right. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, definitely. I mean, it was just, like, finding a good a good group of guys. Um, I shouldn't say guys. A good group of people to, to skate with. Um, and, yeah, they're, they're all, all in Binghamton. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just like every, like every day we would go out was just always the most fun. Um, we were just like, just screwing around, just like having the, like really just having the time of our lives. Like it was just, yeah, like a, a lot of the, uh, like a lot of the times we would link up, there was a, there used to be a park. It's still there, but it only opens every once and again. Is it's, it Sherilyn? No, 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 not, not Sherilyn's. It's called, uh, HCS. Um, it was started oh, okay. by like a former, uh, bike pro. Um, yeah, that that was where we met. Is that Dave Mira? No, his name dropping no. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, his name's Derek Nelson, but he was known in the BMX world as the Black Rider, and he was in like these series of BMX videos. He even had like a segment on ESPN, which was pretty wild. Super nice guy, um, super hardworking. Just like built this park up from nothing, completely himself. Um, and yeah, so that was that was where we would kind of all go and hang out and, and link up, and that was where I started, you know, uh, forming uh, a lot of good friendships um, with people. Yeah, who I still skate with today. What brought you to Binghamton in the first place? Uh, so my buddy Jimmy Bike, um, he and I actually met in Oregon when we were twenty or twenty one. I think we were twenty, um, and so it was my first time ever going to Oregon for this camp. And I show up and, you know, we go, we do, uh, introductions. I'm like, Hey, what's up? I'm Justin. I'm from Syracuse. And I hear these two guys be like, well, we're from Binghamton. <laughs> what? And it was just like, it was crazy. We're on the complete other side of the country. And so, yeah, we just got to talking immediately hit it off. One of those guys was Jimmy. Another was a, a, a kid by the name of Chris. Um, I don't get to see him too, too often these days. Um, but yeah, he, he was a guy I snowboarded with for, uh, for a while great dude um yeah bo- both of them uh just like just really like positive just fun to be around like like any day like skating with with jimmy is just, it's always a good day there's just like no it's just not possible to have to have mm-hmm. a bad uh, bad day with him so he definitely played a played a big role in just like finding that like i don't know finding that like fire again it's just like all right like it's like things are cool mm-hmm. i actually do um, do it for the the reason of just loving it, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just like he's just like this this big goofy uh, goofy dude, and it's just it, it's impossible to be around him and like not frowning. Um, he just has this it's just like great energy, um, and it's just it, it's infectious. Um, he's always uh, yeah, he he it's always uh, it's always fun with him for sure. Yeah, definitely surrounding yourself around. A group of people you know that have the same mindset as you and um also is in it for the right reasons yeah or the, the yeah. same reasons as why you're in it to yeah. spark a lot of like create creative ideas yeah 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 a- absolutely there's um, no pressure either no oh god no 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 i mean I, everything yeah, it was just, it was just purely for the love of it and it was great and yeah i, I was able to uh i was able to to I guess get back to uh, to what I was uh, to what I'd been missing, you know, with, with snowboarding, because that was what snow what snowboarding was for me. But now it was skating was what really uh, that that really really had taken over. 
So did you end up moving to Binghamton? No, no. I, I, I stayed here. You were um, just kind of commuting? Yeah. I mean, typically, you know, they would come up for one weekend. I would go down there for one weekend, just something like that. I mean, it, it, it's an easy drive. And I, I've always I've always uh, driven all over the place. And like I said, it's hard for me to sit still. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just never really thought anything. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, we'll go down to Binghamton. We'll jump in Jimmy's car and, you know, we'll go to wherever. Go skate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. And uh, how old were you at around that period of time? Yeah, this was like 25, 26. Um, so yeah, just a couple of years ago. And then like, right at this time, a couple of the, the guys from that group um, <clears throat> who were hanging out at, at HCS, they had been kicking around the idea of starting a skateboard company. And so I can't remember off the top of my head what year they launched. It might have been... 2014 it might have been 2015 but either way um it's called the baron company and oh baron company yeah is that in relationship to tropis uh yeah 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 so you know um, i know judah okay yeah 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 it was just his birthday uh the other Mm -hmm. day happy birthday judah (laughs) Happy oh. birthday. <laughs> no, the, He's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, no, Judas the best. Yeah, actually, I went on a skate trip with him in mm-hmm. Philly for... Bar- he rode for Baron Company for a little while. Um, okay. So is that, like, the original skate crew of Binghamton at the time? Um, the Tropus was... Tropus was a little separate, um, but we... I, yeah, I, I didn't... I don't think I met Judah until I went on that trip with him. And mm-hmm. then he decided to stop doing Tropus for a little while and rode for Baron... And then I think he wanted to go back to doing Tropus again. So there definitely there, there's a lot of there's a lot of people floating around. Um, yeah. But yeah, I know the Tropus guys hung out at Sherry Lindsay, the uh, the park for the city more. And then um, yeah, and then we and then the the Baron guys would uh, would be at HCS. Mm, That's okay. Uh, that, that that private park. Yeah, that, go figure. Yeah, yeah, no, Small Judas. World. Yeah, no, Judas, Judas a great dude. I like him a lot. Yeah, it's talking about a super positive, uh, positive guy with with infectious uh, energy. Yeah, I've got I've gone on a couple day trips with him. But yeah, the Philly one that was, that was sweet. Yeah, I, I really, uh, I really enjoyed hanging out with him on, uh, on on that trip we went on in Philly. But yeah, so, Baron Company was was founded. And so they sponsored um, a couple, a couple of the guys from that, uh, from that group, and then a few others. And I was helping them at some point a little bit to try and, uh, you know, the, the joke was that I was the, the Northeastern talent scout. Um, but I was trying to find people for their team. They were like, okay, you know, we, we want to try and try and find someone in the Syracuse area. So, you know, Justin, if you, and I, I travel for, for my day job. So they're like, oh yeah, if you see someone, you know, tell them that you know that we're doing this and and get the. Uh, you were doing um, cons- <clears throat> was it construction? At yeah, the time? say I was doing sales for construction, sales which, which I still that. do now. Um, that, that's what I do for for my day job at this point. Um, but yeah, so Baron, uh, yeah, I, I helped I helped uh, Baron, you know, in whatever whatever way I could. Um, but yeah, uh, those. Um, yeah, those uh, it was they they would take me on trips, uh, well, you know whenever they would. I, I, we still would go and skate together, um, and I was uh, I, you know I wasn't on you know wasn't on the team or anything, but you know I was part of the part of the family. Okay, so um, working your day job, going commuting down to Binghamton. Yeah, yeah. Doing just, the skate trips. Yep. Um, and then, uh, where was the point in you starting to have the idea of wool? So we all had a, a group text, um, and Tom, uh, Tom Doing, he he's uh, he's one of the guys that runs Baron. Um, super super funny guy, uh, and so we would just like bullshit and just like talk, uh, just uh, you know in our, in our group chat during the uh, during the weeks. And Tom said a couple times that he was like, you know, you guys really should like run a company like based on like some of the stuff we talk about. Like, there's a lot of like gold in here, and that was kind of where the when he said that that was where the seed got planted. It's like okay, like I have like a little bit of experience, like you know, running a small company. Like maybe this is like maybe this is something I, I should take a shot at. And you had the other two companies from before. No, I, I wasn't doing anything with with those at, at this point. I had kind of let them. 
just kind of let them go and just kind of focused on, you know, just kind of getting back to the just have, yeah, it was just having fun oh, and just okay. not, and not having to worry about anything like that. Just, you know, screwing around with your friends. That was, that was what I really wanted to, uh, to get back to. Um, so yeah, I, I sat on that idea for, for a long time and then I started, I can't remember, I can't remember exactly when it was, but then I started talking with Tom and I was like, you know, like I'm, I'm actually, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about doing something. I just don't know. I just don't know what. And he's like, well, if, if you need, if you need help in any way, just let me know. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at your service. Um, and so, yeah, I was, I was like, okay, well, you know, Baron, Baron does, does boards and, you know, I, I got my degree in, in graphic design and, you know, I, I, I love printed media. So I was mm-hmm. like, well, that, you know, I, that, that's something that's certainly in my wheelhouse. You know, I, I love, I love doodling. I love creating. <clears throat> I was like, yeah, well, I, love, I you know, I, I've only done soft goods before, you know, why not, why not hard goods this time around? So that was, yeah, w- w- <clears throat> working with Tom, that was where I started to get the idea of, you know, okay, um, you know the the Baron guys. They you know they they do skateboards and they do an awesome job. Um, you know what if you know what if I did you know my take on it? Like a collab with them? No, no, or no, just totally, your own separate. <clears throat> totally, totally separate. And it's funny because like we're we're such good friends. People think we're uh, people think we're we're uh, lumped in together. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, we're I mean we're, we're yeah I mean, we're we're definitely you know. Uh, a family of uh, of some sorts, but no, there's no, there's nothing actually binding the two companies together other than just you know friendship. I'm interested into uh, getting in a little bit of like your philosophy because you're saying that yeah. um, you would have conversation and it was gold and it was something different. Like, what is something that sets you apart? Like wool, because it's all like at the <clears throat> end of the day, skate goods, yeah, clothing. Yeah. Yeah, well, th- I mean, this one's a, t- a, a tough one to answer. I don't think there's anything that really makes us stand out a, a ton. Um, it was just like I, I like, I really like companies that have a good grasp on humor. Um, they don't take themselves too seriously. That's something I always enjoyed. I always gravitated towards skate companies that. Um, that mm-hmm. yeah that 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 we're having fun with it um so like which relates a lot back to your child <clears throat> not child childhood but like growing up with snowboarding yeah 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 exactly exactly just kind of like uh, a, a little bit like carefree a little bit tongue in cheek um and so yeah like you know skate mental crooked uh anti hero you know those are the companies that i i i gravitated towards um a lot and i was like okay well i don't want to just be a copy of of those you know okay what's something i like about this and i kind of started assembling my my mood board and it's funny the, the first um the first iteration of wool was like or my my the the, the original idea that i thought that it was going to be was actually so far off from what wool ended up becoming um, cause like a lot of the stuff was based on like, you know, what I, what I say was like the gold, um, was kind of just like inside jokes, um, from like a, a lot of it was from like the group chat, but like a, the, 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 the first idea I had for, for a board company, we were skating a spot in Syracuse where, uh, it was just some people started pouring concrete underneath one of the 690 overpasses. Um, unfortunately it's, it's gone now, but it was called the bum spot. And it was, it was, yeah, it's like right, um, it's right by where like Mellow Velo is now, if you know that bike shop and cafe. Oh, yeah. I was actually Google searching random like coffee shops. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you, so you, you definitely would have found it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know who started building there, but it was, I mean, it's, it was a highway overpass. So it was just filthy. And bums would hang out there. Um, so I remember we were, we were skating and, I was, and like we had, we had just gone to the spot for the first time. And I, I said to Tom something along the lines of like, oh, like don't want to like I don't want to take a, a like a, a wrong step and you know like a landed bum jizz or and 
And so I was like, and then like the word bum spunk came to mind. And I was like, well, that kind of rolls off the tongue. Like that's, that's a little funny. And so like my first idea was like, okay, like bum spunk, just make it super like gritty and like punk rock, just like hand drawn illustrations and just like kind of like, you know, like shitty, like pen and paper. (laughs) And I sat on that for a couple weeks and then I was like, nah, you know, at first it was funny, but there wasn't a lot of freedom with that. So, you know, then it was just kind of, I scrapped that and then went back to the drawing board. Um, Is that what you're saying? It was too niche Exactly, exactly. Because I tried doing, I mean, it was, it was like if I tried to make Black Unicorn Death called a board company, it's just like, it's just, it's just too niche. Yeah, um, at the end of the day, you can only draw so many of this. Yeah, same. exactly. It, the, there wasn't that. There wasn't a lot of freedom with it, which I did not like. Mm-hmm. I I really wanted something I could take in any direction. Um, yeah. And that seems like uh, something that you hold uphold to a lot of value. Yeah, like freedom. Yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely. Being able to play and just kind of do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I uh, wish I know is something isn't unique to me and isn't unique to wool. But that's like a great part about skateboarding is that you can just take your own you know, your own, your own kind of brand or your own kind. I remember I, 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 I made, I wrote a little note when I, after, um, after I made the Instagram for wool and started to get like my ducks in a row, I made a little notes, um, saying, you know, like what we were going to be and sort of like, I guess for lack of a better term, a mission statement. Mm -hmm. And it was just about like, it's like, not that we think, you know, we're doing anything better than anyone else or that, you know, there's no one out there, you know, having fun. We just want to try it, you know, our specific way. So, you know, full skateboards, here we go. Jumping in with both feet. I, I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what I had written, but I know it's the first post on our Instagram, if you dig back. Mm, yeah. I'll have to look back at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, me too, because I can't remember. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah, no. I mean, I, I know I scribbled something because I have terrible handwriting. <laughs> but I was like, oh, this is this is how I want it. This is how I want it to kick off. Yeah. Like, this is perfect. I mean, with any idea though, it yeah, yeah. like it just grows from that. Mm-hmm. There's a progression to it, and then you can yeah. look back and be like, damn. There's been a lot of shit in between them. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. It, yeah, yeah. It's funny. I'm definitely starting to like hit that as like I circle back and just like look back on, on some of the. I mean, we're definitely still in like the fledgling stages, but it's it's kind of crazy. It's funny. Judah was the one that really that pointed out. I bumped into him, skating, and he was like, "Man, like, cause when, cause when he and I went on that Baron trip to Philly, um, I had like just started like." the first like designs like i think i just like i was i was trying like different logos and i just had like pictures on my phone and i was passing it around to everyone in the car i'm like yeah i'm thinking about doing this board company called wool like mm-hmm. this is what i'm thinking right now and like i i haven't seen jude all that much um and he was like dude like it's crazy how like like i remember like you talking about it and, like it was just like just like this little thing like on your board. phone and now yeah and it's just like and now it's like it's grown into this like thing and like it kind of hit me and i was like fuck he's kind of right i was like damn <laughs> so yeah i i, I uh, that was that was a pretty cool thing to like take a step back and be like yeah you know this actually has grown a little bit like organically mm-hmm. too which is which is wild yeah one thing that's cool um pe- speaking from like personal experience yeah is like with creating a company you can see there's like um, visual growth with mm-hmm. just like looking at the brand itself. Yeah. And I kind of like relate that to my personal growth. Yeah. And so it's all like with personal growth, it's hard to kind of like see where you're at and yeah. how much progression you have. But like with having a brand and you're growing with it, mm-hmm. it's like you can s- literally visually see how much you've grown. Yeah. Yeah. In that space. Definitely. Definitely. Mm. yeah it's a it's wild to look at like stuff over time it's just like all the like memories and stuff that are attached to different things that come flooding back it's just like damn that, that is kind of crazy yeah for sure so how long have you been in this in this uh zone uh cool. um let's see i think i'm about i'm I think i'm about a year and a year and some change in now no it's got to be more than that it's, it's, it's got to be in the neighborhood of, of two years now because I I spent a lot of time over the, over the winter. We've done two two lines of boards, um, and I'm about to uh, do a line of. Um, I mean, I, I have them. I just I have to list them uh, and, and shoot photos of them of uh, beanies and hoodies for for winter. Oh, okay. So yeah, I guess I, I guess it's been it's been a couple of years now. Um, Almost since, two uh, years. Yeah, at yeah. At this point? Yeah. 
Yeah, which is crazy. Um, cause yeah, it just like it started out. Cause I, I I remember I was just like I was driving, so I scrapped the bum spunk thing, and it, and just like the name wool popped into my head, and I was like, because I wanted something really simple. Again, I could I could just take in any direction mm -hmm. I wanted. Um, That's a pretty universal name. Yeah, 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 and yeah, it's just it 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 works on. Uh, I mean, it, it can work on a lot of on a lot of different levels. So I started thinking. I was like, okay, wool, and then I just started drawing, you know, logos and and started, um, yeah, just kind of taking it from there. But that was that, that was kind of that that original seed. But yeah, it's just been it, the the whole process has just been so much fun, um, and you know, I. I told myself as you know, as long as it as long as it stays fun, I'm gonna keep doing it. And it's mm -hmm. just been the whole the whole the whole process has just been such a blast. I mean, I, I couldn't be happier with with mm -hmm. uh, with how everything has been going. Um, that's great. So it was really just kind of like a just like a, a idea floating and just kind of like stuck in your yeah, head. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, it just kind of popped in and I, and I just, I, I started just like picturing it in like different ways. Um, cause I was like, okay, like if I really want to do like the metal thing again, like I can do that. Or like if I want to do something like on the complete other side of the spectrum or something, you know, like more like, you know, like artsy or there's just like, there's a lot of different directions that mm -hmm. it can go in. And that was like, I was like, yep, that's it. And so like, I started doing some research, like, okay, there's no other, there's no other wool skateboards. I'm like, all right, like, that's it. I'm like, and then it's just like, okay, and then, then now what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the sky's the limit. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and that's kind of the funny thing about, um, about, cause like the first two things I did were very, um, yeah, like we're, we're very niche and like the, f and with this, like with it being so much freedom, it's just like, damn, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> so what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you have I, any ideas? Yeah. I, I mean, always, I, um, you know, I, 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 I work with, uh, some of the, you know, some of the writers to produce, uh, art for the boards and, <laughs> Like, uh, you know, one of them, I, I, I know I've said to him a couple of times, like, Hey, I'm, I'm an idea, man. I can, I can come up with things, but I, I, I need a little help, um, executing them. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it, I, yeah, I, I know, yeah, so I'm working on the third line currently. Um, I'm definitely really excited about it. The, the previous two lines have been, have been doing great. Um, do you usually release in the summer? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I try to try to time it. So, you know, when, when people are going to be outside skating more that you know, okay, it's going to yeah, be, fair. yeah, yeah trying to generate some hype mm -hmm. then. So you're looking to keep it local with Syracuse for now on? Well, I don't, yeah. I mean, again, the, the sky's the limits. Um, yeah. I mean with e-commerce. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Um, yeah, I know I've, I've gotten some interest in a few places outside the state. So I have. There's four people on the team right now. Um, three of them are from upstate New York. One's from Philly. Um, okay. And those so, are all the guys on the skate team. Yeah, there's uh, there's actually one Good one girl, girl, one girl, uh, one girl who absolutely she shreds rips. Yeah, we. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's she's a badass. It's it's, <laughs> it's it's crazy. We went some, we went to a girls contest down in uh, Second Nature Skate Park in Peekskill, New York. And, um, yeah, there, there, were, it was kind of like a girls' jam, and then they're gonna have contests. And I remember I was like, oh, like just contests. Like, do you want to sign up? Because like my whole thing is like, there's no pressure. Like, I just want it to be fun. Like, if there's anyone that's on the team, like, I want you to be having fun. If you're not having fun, then like we gotta reassess what's going on. Because mm -hmm. like, for that's sure. like, just like having fun and doing it for the love. Like, that's like what I want to be at the core of everything with wool. Um, so, and she was like, oh, you know, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm really feeling it. I was like, all right, no, it's fine. Just, just skate, do your own thing. And then the people that were organizing the contest came up to her and were like, hey, what's your name? Nicole? Okay, we're signing you up. You're, oh, you're, you're going to be in, like, you're, like, you're crushing it just because she's a, she's a really, really talented skater. She was just, like, in the warm-up crew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just, just skating the park. And I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty noticeable, um. That you know, there's there's this girl doing a lot of tech tricks that you do not see a lot of people doing in general. Mm. Um, like uh, I, it, it uh, like good for a girl doesn't doesn't even doesn't even count with her. Just good in general. Just, yeah, exactly. 
Um, yeah. yeah, she she's incredible, and she ended up winning the contest. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, shout it out was, to. Uh, yeah, Shout out to Nicole Hawkins. Nicole, yeah. <laughs> Nicole, oh, yeah. you're a boss. I'm happy you're on board. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I remember I, I filmed. I, I I filmed the whole thing. I made an edit, and just the sound of when she landed the trick, and the whole this is a skate park inside of a warehouse. Oh my god! And just the whole place erupts. That's such it's, a great feeling. Yeah, uh, no, I was I was <laughs> so hyped, and I and I knew it. I, I I knew it as soon as she landed. I was like, that that's the you fucking trick. won. Yeah, no, hell yeah, like, with, without a doubt. <laughs> and of course, like yeah, she ended up she ended up winning. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's wild. Um, but yeah, no, like it's uh, the 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 whole thing. I just I want it to be, I want it to be for the team and anyone that's involved with wool. I want it to just be you know fun, just fun and carefree, and just because like for me, like at this point in my life, like skateboarding is just like that outlet it's just like you can take like all that like negativity that you're feeling just like from the day to day or just you know um and you can just pour everything into that one activity and just like you like you land a trick and like it's just the greatest feeling um especially if it's one you've been fighting for there's this one older pro skater who does uh a web series his name's jeff uh, jeff grosso and he talks about um it's called love letters to skateboarding and he just has a theme but he just he he talks about you know how how great it is to to land a trick and he's like some people like that'll carry them through uh like like for some people like landing a trick like that'll carry them through like their week like if not their month yeah like, like people with like severe depression yeah like, I mean, skating can like ground you and like oh get you yeah, back on your feet. yeah yeah i remember one, one of the guys i used to work with in oregon told me He's from, he used to live in Montana, and I guess Montana used to be, like, the meth capital of the U.S., really, really of the world, I guess. And someone came up with the idea, it was like, hey, let's just put skate parks in every single town, just put mm-hmm. skate parks everywhere. And apparently, meth usage in Montana dropped, like, 80%. Oh, wow. And it, like pretty much eradicated the problem at least it wasn't an, ep- an epidemic like it used mm-hmm. to be it's like i mean it's not even anyone with like extreme depression or anything but i mean it's just like i mean uh, there's it's an uh, outlet yeah 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 i mean there, there's there, there's negative stuff that happens you know in your day you know whether you want it to or, or not it's just it, it, it's part of life but it's just like it's such a great way to like you know like you can walk away after a good day of, of skating you know with your head held high it's just like it's just it feels yeah. good it's just like the like I joke about that song, hooked on a feeling, um, but that's like that's like what that's like what skateboarding is. It's just like a, but it's a it's a physical feeling of just you know riding a riding a piece of wood around. Yeah, it's euphoria. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, especially like when there's a trick you're you're battling for and it works. Like that's just like greatest and all it takes is that one land yeah yeah and yeah everything definitely. just kind of like gets resolved you're like yeah that's yeah, fine yeah, just like oh like that person <laughs> i'm not getting along with the work like fuck <laughs> them it doesn't matter you know like i i you know i i got this trick and it's just yeah it's a it's a, it's such a special thing um yeah i think you're bringing something special especially to i mean to, to i guess into the business world side of because i mean with the skate industry, yeah, like, I'm, 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 I'm trying to. We'll see if we we'll see uh, if we if we make a splash, but just the the idea of just having fun, yeah, um, do it for the love of it, yeah, um, yeah, you know, don't take yourself too seriously, like yeah, exactly. That's like that. We got your back. That's like, definitely yeah. Just go out with like, the homies and skate. Yeah, yeah, you know, just just you know, just have have fun with it. I mean, that's. Uh, that's you know that that's all I want. You know, if I could if I could change, if I could change the 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 world where everyone could just do like one thing. It's just like just have fun. Just have fun with what mm. you're doing. It's just like yeah. life's like life is just so short, and it's really uh, it's really easy to get caught up in you know whatever bad stuff is going on. And I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be like skateboarding. You know, it can be like doing puzzles. Just like find that one thing that just like just gives you that feeling and just do makes it makes you tick yeah 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 do you have any advice for anyone um who's, oh, who might be struggling <laughs> um yeah finding that thing um 
Yeah, just uh, just just keep keep trucking. I mean, just kind of search search within yourself. It doesn't need to be something active. I mean, it could just be doodling. It could just be drawing circles on a paper. Um, it's uh, yeah. I mean, for I know for a lot of people, it's music. Um, I mean, everyone's got to have you know passion for for something. I mean, I think just the act of creating. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like some effect to that that just like invigorates people. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for me, like I'm I'm a creative person, and I, I I can't imagine not, you know, not constantly coming up with stuff. I mean, even if I you know shut down you know shut down wool or you know did did whatever with it, you know, there's always it it, it always comes back to just creating and doing doing something, and that's. Um, yeah, and that that's something that I I think it's a way I'll I'll always be. I mean, I have no intentions of of shutting down the, of shutting down wool. Um, I'm having way too much fun with it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, just definitely that 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 feeling of creation. I mean, may, maybe that's the advice. You know, just create something. I mean, whittle experiment. A, yeah, I mean, yeah, whittle you know whittle uh, whittle a piece of wood. You know, find a three D printer. What we were talking oh, about true. before we started recording. I mean, just do yeah, do do something. I mean, because the, the the possibilities are really limitless. Yeah, and you can start making connections. Yeah, like oh, yeah, uh, you you started out with snowboarding, mm-hmm. which led you to skateboarding, which yep. led you to creating wool. Oh, yeah. It's like you never know what's out there until you get out there yeah no w- w- without a doubt um yeah and, the, and and there's so much in this world too i mean it's just it, it's it's crazy my, my girlfriend and i were just watching a cooking show on netflix and they like bring out these like star chefs and like all these people like all the contestants they're all they're all high-end chefs themselves and they all freak out it's like oh my god like i have this guy's book and it's like it's something that like if you're like if you're not in that world you have no idea. And I remember at first I was like, oh, it's kind of funny how they're doing that. And she was like, well, what would it be like if you know like such and such like pro skater walked out? And I'm like, oh, uh, true. Okay, you got me there. Yeah. Um, it's like a secret communication. Yeah, yeah. But not really secret, but it's just kind of like a, I don't know what to call it. What would you call it? I mean. I guess it's just just like it's a commonality because like you have this one world but you have all of these you know other worlds behind you 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 could call it like Mm -hmm. genre and subgenre like getting back to the metal thing I remember have you ever seen I'm sure you've seen Forrest Gump right Mm -hmm. you know when um, Bob was talking about all the different shrimp oh yeah yeah um, someone made a meme of that with all the different types of metal because it's like oh you got speed Mm -hmm. metal thrash metal power metal black metal death metal and like Mm -hmm. it just keeps going but like that's kind of like what and me as an outsider I would have no idea yeah (laughs) Yeah. metal okay but like (laughs) but yeah it's just like there's there's so there's just so much in this world I mean anything that you have any mild interest in especially Mm -hmm. with the internet now you can find just endless information about it i mean it could be like something like bird watching or you know going out and identifying flowers um you could you know you have as much information that humanity knows at your fingertips i mean if you have an inkling of an interest of of anything you can find it i mean and at the drop of a hat too like that's what's incredible um that's super good insight yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it's it, it's such, I mean, yeah, again, going back to what we were talking about before, it's just, it's such a great time to be alive. I mean, there's so much, I mean, you know, like knowledge is power, and there's just so much information that's just, that, that that's out there, and it's just like, you can, mm-hmm. you can find something and just be, you know, you can, you can immerse yourself in something that you had no idea even existed, um, yeah, you could just be randomly surfing on the internet. Yeah, and come yeah, across yeah. something. Yeah, that yeah. literally changes your entire life. Yeah, no, I mean, w- without it, without a doubt, definitely. Um, yeah, and, then, and and I'm sure it happens, you know, on a on a daily uh, on a daily basis too. I mean, just because there's so much information, just going back and forth, and just so much communication, and mm-hmm. yeah, it's 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 yeah, it, it's crazy. I, I I trip out on it. But there might be too many choices. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> but 
I don't know. I mean, you, you can just spend a few hours researching something and you can know, you know, a good chunk of, of what there is to, to know about it. Uh, yeah, at least the bare minimum to determine whether or not yeah, it interests yeah. you. Yeah, no, with, with, without a doubt. I mean, you can find tutorial videos on YouTube for anything or just, you know, like a wiki how. Like, it's, yeah, it's wild. Yeah. I would say that's good advice to anyone, really. If yeah. You, so if you're feeling lost, just start surfing on Google. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> find find that passion. Although there's also a lot of dark. The, the, the internet can be a dark place as well. <laughs> <laughs> but we, I don't want to. I don't want to open that can of worms. But yeah, if if you're struggling, just keep uh, keep on it. You know, find that thing. You know, make mm. a make a batch of beer, make some wine. You know, just create something. Yeah, like. You know, tan some leather, whittle a piece of wood. I mean, it doesn't have to be something, you know, that happens on Oregon Trail. I don't know. That's just where my mind's going right now. But you can, like, I, I mean, you can, you know, you could, I mean, let's say if you even wanted to get into whittling, you could order, a, like, a whittling kit on Amazon. And with Amazon Prime, you could have it on your doorstep in 48 hours. And you can be, you know, whittling, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, no, it's, it's yeah, so use, use the power that, that you have. So, I mean, that's great advice. Uh, now, moving forward with wool, um, do you guys, what are your, like, more, if you want to divulge any information, like your future vision of where you are headed, where where you want to get to with wool? Yeah, I mean, I, I always wanted, I, I'm always wanted to grow, uh, to, to grow, uh, you know, the, the, the number of, of uh, board sales and stuff, you know, I'm in one shop in Syracuse, one shop in the Adirondacks, you know, shout outs to Black Mamba Skate Park and Human Power oh, Planet yeah, Earth and, uh, in, in Lake Placid. Um, and yeah, just kind of get the name out there. Yeah. 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 That, that that's kind of where, where it's at right now. But I mean, I, I have a great team, um, that, uh, that, that I have, I, I, I couldn't ask for, uh, for anyone better. Um, and who are they? We have Nicole Hawkins, who we talked about, Eli Carey, James Rounds, and Matt Tui. Matt's the kid, uh, the kid in Philly. Yeah, great kid. Really, uh, I really enjoy his his skateboarding. Yeah, when I started, I was like, ah, I'm not gonna, because, uh, you know, when you announce that you're starting a skate company, you get a lot of DMs of people being like, hey, Oh, really? Man, check out my sponsor me tape. And at first, I was like, I don't know if I really wanna, if I wanna go that route, I wanna stick to people I know. And then Matt sent me his stuff, and then it was just, it was different. And I was like, mm-hmm. This kid does it exactly how. I would do it if I could. I mean, he's 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 a lot more talented talented than I am. And I mean, and I'm always and and anyone that that DMs me footage, I always tell them, you know, I'm 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 happy to take a look at it. Um, so it's just, but you when you announce that you uh, that, that that you're starting a company, you how, get a you get a lot of attention. How would you describe Matt's style? Um, it's, it's Matt's Matt's technical but different. He does a lot of tricks that you don't that you don't see a lot of people doing um it's it's unique I, I i looked at his footage and i was like this kid skates like no one else i've I, i've really ever seen um definitely uh yeah he's 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 got an individual style um just being himself yeah yeah i mean with uh w- without a doubt just um hey he does a lot of tricks i i wish i could do hmm. Um, what kind of tricks just thrown out there yeah like he <laughs> I remember he sent me one clip of he did a boneless it's where you you grab with your uh, with your back hand and slide your front foot off and jump in the air and mm-hmm. so he did that over a pole into a bank oh wow like down into like pole like, jammed it uh, he, he, he just went over it so the pole mm-hmm. like went like he jumped over and the pole like went in between his mm-hmm. legs and I was just like Fuck, that was cool. I wish I could do that. And he did <laughs> a lot of like, uh, yeah, he he did. I know he he sent me a clip not long ago of him doing a, a fakey ollie, um, fakey five o, like pop out to fakey, and just like he did it so perfectly. I was mm. just like, I, I I I couldn't I couldn't do that trick. Maybe in <laughs> five years I'll have, of consistently trying. Um, but yeah, Matt's Matt Matt's uh, Matt's great. Um, yeah, it's funny. It's funny. I, I've I've talked with him a lot, and he's been he's been with us for a while now, pretty much since day one. And we've actually never met. We haven't gone to Philly yet, but I I think we're gonna go this uh, this summer. But yeah, all the 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 team is uh, the team is fantastic. Um, they really, I mean, everyone brings something different to the table. 
Uh, Eli does you know big tricks with a lot of power. Um, James has a very individualistic style as well. A lot of tricks that you don't was, don't uh, don't always see. Was James the one that I saw at a lovely yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, James James is at a lovely time. Really good transition skater. Um, mm-hmm. And then yeah, Nicole is just a technical powerhouse. A lot of really good switch good. tricks. It's incredible. I'm always blown. She'll, you know, she sends me clips like, "Hey, this is the thing I'm working on." And I'm like, "Fuck! Like, how are you doing this?" <laughs> like, yeah, and she, yeah, she, she does a lot of switch tricks I've never seen anyone do before. Um, like, she just sent me a clip. Uh, she was at an indoor park um, in uh, down in the Hudson Valley. Not not second nature. It's called like Skate Time Two Hundred Nine or something. She did like switch uh, switch nose grind. Like that's a, oh wow. Like, that's a hard. That's a hard trick. Like switch, I got nothing on. It's just. Yeah. So I, yeah. uh, I, she, she has my, uh, she has my utmost respect. So yeah, the the, the team, uh, ev- everyone it's brings something. House. Yeah, everyone brings something unique to the table, and that was exactly, exactly what I wanted. Like not only, not only are they talented skaters, but they all do something differently. They're not just carbon copies. They're Style. all. They're all individuals. Yeah. And that's something I really, really want. Yeah, I mean, uh, one big thing that draws me into skateboarding yeah. is it's an art form. Yeah. It's yeah. self-expression. Yeah, without a doubt. And, yeah, and, and it's it's really like the, like one of, one of the ultimate, ultimate forms of it, really. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, continuing to, you know, when you're battling for a trick, you're just throwing your body at something over and over and over. And uh, yeah, it's it, it's awesome. I, we we've gone on a lot of fun uh, a lot of fun trips. Like we went <clears throat> went on the one trip to Vermont. We've gone down to Peekskill mm-hmm. at Second Nature a couple times, and it's just always good times in the in in the car. And yeah, I I I, I, I couldn't be more thrilled with uh, with everyone. So yeah, I'm I'm you know I'm I'm hoping to grow the team as the as the brand grows. Um, I would like to do a full length video as well, although I don't know if the team's gonna be on board with that one. Like um, a, a video part or more like documentary? Uh, no, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't. It would just be like um, you know the like the team, uh, like 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 you know Nicole has a video part, Eli has a video part, James has a video part. Mm, you know okay. they each have their own you segments. Know, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's um, that's the next thing. Uh, um, I'm thinking about. I, I've talked about it a little with them. It's it, it's an undertaking, and it's an it'd be an undertaking on my part too if if I was to be the one editing it. But that's something I really want to do. I think we could. I mean, because we we go on these trips and we produce a lot of footage. Um, do you film? Yeah, I, I I I film as much as I can. You know, anytime I'm skating with anyone, you know, if they like, hey, do you think you can get this? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm at your disposal. Um, so yeah, I I I try and uh, I try and be behind the cameras as much as I can. Um, mm. Yeah, and, and it's funny with doing this podcast. Um, I not that I kept it like a secret, but I kept my own personal brand outside of wool. Like I made sure like I didn't use any of like any footage that I had of myself. I just tried to keep my name as so, like I didn't give myself credit for anonymous. I mean not anonymous, but I just I didn't I didn't I didn't sell my name with it with mm. wool. Okay. Like I wanted it to be its own entity, not not, you know, mm-hmm. not wool by Justin, just wool. And so yeah, it was, it's funny this is the most uh this is the most <laughs> I've, I've really ever talked about it. And I was at one of the parks in Syracuse, and uh, I, uh, I I dropped off some boards to the team, and there are a lot of people there that they were at the park that knew me and knew Wool, but didn't know that we were you know connected at all. They're uh, like, "Wait, okay. you're the guy that's that's running Wool seriously?" And yeah, I've had that like uh, actually, yeah, Tony, um, who was at a lovely time, he said the exact same thing. He's like, "Seriously?" Because I've <laughs> known I've known Tony since middle school, so he was like, "Seriously, you're the one that's uh, that's running Wool?" And I was like. Surprise! <laughs> That's a sign of a true leader, though. You know, <sighs> put others before yourself I, I, and I stay humble. Like all this stuff you learn as a child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're putting I, into practice. <laughs> I yeah, I I definitely try. So, I mean, it's just because like yeah, like like you know, like I have my own, like I I have my own you know style that isn't necessarily wool. You know, like I like I love metal. Like I definitely like dress a little bit more you know metally or whatever you know to 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 quantify it 
and yeah, it's just it's it, it's my my own aesthetic is isn't exactly perfectly lined up with with wool. But that's like the great part about wool is that it's not exactly one thing or another. Yeah. But yeah, it, it throws some people for a loop, which I mean, which I I, I guess is is a good thing that they didn't, uh, you know, that 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 uh, they didn't know it was it was run. Uh, yeah, that means you're branding. Me. Well, you're like putting the brand before yourself. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I certainly want it to be bigger than bigger than me. I mean, because myself with skateboarding, I don't think you know, I don't think I have much to bring to the table. But I think mm-hmm. wool could. And it's like a combination of everyone's style. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Everyone adds a different element to it. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, and, and it's uh, it's great. Um, yeah, I, I I I didn't know where it was gonna go when I started. I I had no idea that I was gonna you know be here, doing this. Um, but I, I I couldn't I couldn't be happier with with how it's been going, and yeah, it's just it, it, it's it's the whole thing's been a been a thrill. I mean, I I I knew it was gonna be fun. I didn't know it was gonna mm. be this fun. You're in a good place. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I, I think the the brand's in a, in, in a good place, and yeah, I'm just I'm so thankful to have gotten this point. But I definitely couldn't have done it without the help of a lot of people along the way, mm-hmm. um, which I'm super grateful for. Do you have any last words? Oh, jeez. Anything you want to wrap up? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, thanks to anyone who's who's who who tuned into this. I mean, I never in a million years. I was saying at the beginning of this, I never thought I'd I'd ever be on a podcast, let alone talking about my my rinky dink uh, skate company. Um, no, but I mean, a big a big thank you to uh, the team, you know, all 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 those guys and girl. Um, are great. I couldn't be more thankful. You know, it's a big, big shout out to the Baron company, to Tom and Ben. Um, and yeah, Jimmy and Randy and Rob, all the guys I, uh, all the guys I skate with, um, Black Mamba Skate Park, go there to get your skate stuff, Human Power Planet Earth and Lake Placid. Um, and yeah, uh, Adam Parker is another guy who's, uh, is, is one of my, one of my buddies from high school. We went to college together. He helped a lot in the process as well. Just a thousand thank yous to all those people. I, I think, I think that's uh, that's everyone, or at least that's that's most of them. The Grand yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. and anyone who's supported Wool, again, a, a thousand thank yous, because you're making a, a dream come true that I that I never thought was possible. So, um, yeah, thank you to to, to everyone. I, I couldn't uh, I couldn't be more um, more humbled and and more happy to uh, have gotten the response that I have, yeah. and it's and, and, and it's great. So you got any like plugs um, as far as like where we can find you? Yeah, yeah. Um, Woolskateboards.com uh, and Wool Skateboards on Instagram. That's where everything uh, is pretty much centralized. We do a little bit on Facebook. Um, but yeah, if you're in Lake Placid, Human Power Planet Earth, if you're in Syracuse, um, Black Mamba Skate Park, and yeah, if you're if you want your uh, your your local skate shop to pick up wool, um, I'm more than happy to to get on the to get on the phone to them, harass them, have them reach out, or I can reach out to them. Hit me up, <laughs> and maybe we'll see a segment of steel wool. In the yeah, future. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's it's in the idea pool. I don't I don't know if we'll move forward with it, but it's in it's in the. Uh, it's like wool's um, half brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, went yeah. like a little um, little grunge over yeah. the years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. It's yeah. I I I have a few things a few things penned. We'll we'll see if if it's one of the ones that I move forward. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it's been nice to having you. Oh, too, thank you so much. Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I yeah. appreciate it. It's it's uh, this has been this has been a treat. It's wild when we met at a lovely time. Oh yeah, yeah. shout out a lovely time for True. for making for making uh, for making this happen. Um, because yeah, that that put we us have yeah the, if the, it wasn't for that that put us uh, that put us in touch. Um, yeah, and it's it's sweet to see everything that you guys are doing. Um. Yeah, I, I think that's everything I got. That's a wrap. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thanks for Justin. Thank thanks for this dope setup we got here. <laughs> My man came it's uh, uh, Justin's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Over and out. Peace. <laughs> and there you have it, Justin Keskin.
an authentic, humble man who just wants to have a good time doing what he loves. Justin's last words of advice for us was, keep your passion your mistress. It definitely shines through in our conversation that he practices what he preaches. We are forever grateful to be able to hear his story and understand what makes him tick. Thanks again, Justin, and we wish you the best moving forward with Wool Skateboards, the softest brand in skateboarding. Peace. Thank you again, Justin, for sitting down with us. Just wanted to kind of do a little rundown for everyone listening. Uh, Kyle likes to do very quick intros and outros, so I figured this is a good time for me to just kind of run you down on things coming up Boho Hobo. So first of all, we have new product. I'm sure I've talked about this in the past, but go check it out at our website, www.bohohobolifestyle.com. You can find all the goods in the merchandise tab. You can also find our podcasts, all the episodes, videos, starting to do some blogging, and really just like the website is a central hub of Boho Hobo, and that's really what we want it to be. So definitely go over and check it out. Let us know what you think. Any criticism is good criticism for us. So feel free to drop us a DM. Let us know what you think. And maybe even let us know what you think about the podcast. We would really appreciate it if you could leave us a review. You know, let us know what you think. If you really want, it's as simple as just giving us hitting that five stars. That really helps us just show higher in these searches on you know, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else that a podcast is. Uh, the more reviews we get, the better chance we have of being exposed to a bigger audience. So please, if you know, if you're listening every week, give it a review. It takes two seconds, and it really does help us out a lot. Screenshot those phone screens if you want to be featured on our page, and we'll post that you were listening. That's a really cool way for us to engage with you guys, and it's really awesome to see when people are actually listening to the podcast. Other than that, I am looking forward to our another episode that I'll be editing probably in the next few hours, and Kyle sat down with a really cool food blogger from the city of Syracuse, and there was a lot of really intellectual deep talk apparently and i'm really excited to check it out so i'm excited for the next episode thanks for listening give us a review and as always keep it real out there